Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a really, really quick video uh, discussing uh, what is causing some people to see the pending um, issue going on in regards to uh, being paid. Now, usually when you certify, you uh, certify and you have to answer these questions here. And usually um, what happens is when you certify, you go, um, the e it will say on the EDD homepage that your certification was received. And then during that time, uh, your weeks will say pending. Now, what's supposed to happen is that uh, within 12 to 24 hours, the pending is supposed to be switched to paid. But lately, um, in January 2021, a lot of people are reporting that they are not getting paid and within that time frame of 12 to 24 hours. And they are being stuck at pending for a very long period of time. And in fact, I, I looking on certain Facebook groups um, that focus on the EDD's problems, a lot of people have been pending for a few days to even a few weeks. Um, so I just want to talk about a possibility of why that is. And um, we'll just start off with one of the possibilities. One of the big possibilities is that your account was suspended and awaiting ID verification. Now, ID verification is uh, the EDD is supposed to send you a link uh, where you upload those documents. Um, and I believe it's through ID.me. Um, they send you a link for that. But um, the, the main thing I'm gonna be t I will be talking about is if you are pending, and you are already um, a verified account, meaning that you are not, um, you never received any notice of suspension uh, because of ID verification, but you still see a pending um, a pending issue um, in regards to payment, um, where it's just remaining at pending and never going to paid. So as you could see here, I pulled up um, this, uh, I pulled this up here so you could see the certification uh, questions. And usually when you certify each week, you have to answer these groups of, que um, groups of questions. So number one, um, were you too sick or injured to work is always uh, going to be no. Was there any reason other than sickness or injury that you could have not accepted full-time work? The answer to that is no. As you can see, um, it's for both of the weeks because you certify every two weeks. It's a bi-weekly certification. So this is the big one right here, is where it says, um, did you look for work? And throughout the entire time I have been on un unemployment during this crazy pandemic, I have also, I've always chosen yes, uh, because what normally happens um, when the, before the EDD started waiving uh, that work search requirement, you had to answer yes. You absolutely had to answer yes, or else you would be stuck in that pending, um, the pending hellhole. I say. So what happened was after, um, you know, during that time when the EDD uh, started uh, implementing special rules and regulations because of the pandemic, a lot of people would actually choose no to this question: Did you look for work? That did work for a while, um, and for a few months after. You know, they when did the pandemic start? Around March 2020. That's when a lot of people started uh, getting on EDD. Uh, you could actually choose no for this question, and it would still pay you out. Now, this is the thing that I think that a lot of people are doing, is they're still choosing no to this particular question. This is an extremely important question. So it is, it's very important now, at least, that you choose yes, that you were looking for work. Because if you... Um, choose no, um, apparently the EDD is being more strict now with that. And I actually learned that from another YouTuber named Shelly's Millions, and she's, uh, you should check her out. She's a really awesome person and a very awesome channel as well. She goes into uh, um, the unemployment subject far more in depth than I do. So yeah, check her channel out. But you, you know, if you have been answering no before to this question number three, and you've been getting paid ever since March or whenever it was that you joined, uh, that you got on unemployment, um, and you got paid, well, now um, I would just say just choose yes because that could be a reason why that you're, pen uh, you're stuck in pending. So when it's time for you to certify again, 
um, follow this, uh, uh, just use this as a model. Um, as you can see, everything is no. And then uh, here is, did you look for work? Yes, it should always be yes. So everything no, except for yes. The only um, other times this would change is that it would be the question of where uh, it says if you work and made any earnings, then it would be yes. And then it would take you a di to a different page where you have to report those earnings and the hours that you worked per week. Now, as you can see here, uh, this is one important one as well, is if you want federal income tax withheld. As you see, I said no. I'm not screwed though, because I mean, I would be if I didn't save 12%, but um, going into uh, just a small subject on the tax issue here, I made 19,000 on uh, the EDD, including the $300 boost and 600 before then. I saved 12% of that, so I have made 19,000 in uh, unemployment total, and I have about 2,100 saved aside. So I'm ready to go for taxes. If you choose to say no to this, be sure to save 10% or to, to be safe 12% every single time because you don't want it to, to run into a situation where come tax time, you didn't save 10 to 12%. It is extremely important that you, you do this. Um, otherwise, you're going to be slapped with a, a tax bill of a couple grand, you know, and you don't want that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, just remember, uh, follow the advice of this video. And I think that, um, I do believe that that is an issue now where the EDD is becoming more strict with question number three, because, you know, a lot of people answered no to this before and they would still get paid. So um, that's pretty much it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. And this is a very simple video. There's no dancing involved or anything like that. I'm sorry, but next time there will be.